sometimes it can be very complicated to get a, a startup business loan, right? Especially if they're asking you for a personal guarantee or collateral, it can be very complicated. So in today's conversation, I want to share with you a few, a few gems, five gems, five rare gems that actually there are lenders, business loan for startups, no personal guarantee, no collateral. Okay. And you have fast approval. This is really good. We're not talking about small ass loan amounts. We're speaking about, you know, something consequential, like half a million, one million. So again, you can actually bank on this five lenders. I'll be sharing with you into this conversation. So here's a review. I really want you to pay attention to number five. We have Capitus Capital, our score nine over 10. So when you think about Capitus Capital, you have a lender that is, that is very close to uh, startups in the first place. Okay. And uh, so you have no personal guarantee. You have no collateral. The only thing here is that they want a credit score of 625. Now, if you have 600, they'll still take care of you, but you need to have, uh, you need to produce like a business plan, a very detailed business plan. Okay. And, uh, and you also need to, pr to, uh, show a detailed business plan. If you want to, uh, want them to approve you for a higher amount. Okay. Normally they will ask you to have about like 15 to 20 grand in average monthly revenue. But if you are a startup, you can actually get everything actually approved by capitals by showing a strong business plan. You got to show this is really important to not forget this. You need to have something called projected financial statements because basically you are like, if you are an established business, you are presenting actual financial statements. But if you are a startup, you have no operational history. You can only pre, you can only present projected or pro forma or estimated financial statements. And Capitals is really, uh, will take, Capitals loves it when you have a detailed set of uh, financial projections. So we're speaking, we're speaking about the four, not only the four primary financial statements, balance sheet, income statement, okay, owner's equity statement, and cash flow statement. They also love you love it when you have uh, disclosures. So disclosures that accompany the financial statement that contextualize the numbers you are putting that you have put in your financial uh, financial information. Okay. So, by the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. We love to have this kind this, this kind of convo every now and then. And what we love about Capitals also is that. They have flexibility. So Capitals will actually approve you within 24 to 48 hours. Okay. They are flexible in terms of uh, their, their loans. They're not even like restricting you. You can use the cash, whatever you want. It's really cool. Number four, we have national funding. Our score 9.1 over 10. So when you think about national funding, what we love about national funding is that they are very generous, very generous with established businesses very generous with uh, startups, okay? And you want to start the conversation by calling National Funding. They do have a website, okay? And they will encourage you to actually apply on the website. The, 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 the cool thing about the website here is that you can actually pre-qualify. It's a soft pull. So what you want to do is go on the website and, and enter your information and see what you can qualify for. But if you qualify for something, do not, do not continue the conversation online. You want to call them up. You want to call them up and actually actually ask a lot of questions. You want to gather intel before you actually uh, finalize the application. Okay. And uh, so if you're a startup, not a problem to take care of you. And they actually have, uh, they can have, they can actually approve you all the way to uh, half a million. But the cool thing is that they will approve you based on your, uh, on your sales bracket, on your revenue bracket. So if you're making under a quarter of a million between 250 and 999 or over 1 million. Now those are actual sales. Okay actual annual sales. If you don't have sales, again, going back to what I said about capitals, it works also for national funding. You have to prepare a business plan. Again, I'm not talking about some kind of crazy ass, very like a uh, amateurish uh, business plan. I'm speaking about a clear business plan that's written by somebody who understand the meaning of business plan. If you can't write it yourself, that's fine. Go on Fiverr or just get business plan software to actually help you uh, write your business plan. Okay. And uh, you can go on Fiverr, Upwork, TopTel. You, those those uh, freelancer platforms will take care of you. You can probably pay somebody two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars to, to uh, write a business plan. But so you want to actually call. And you know, I was talking to you about financial projections. Also, same thing. Very important. You want to call one triple eight seven three three twenty three eighty three. So that's actually National Funding's number. So they will actually uh, just explain things to you. Okay. 
By the way, boss, I want to quickly uh, remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about five no collateral business loan, no personal guarantee loans. They are actually for startups, okay? And so when we talk about national funding, we're speaking about three other things that we love. You have easier qualification. You have cash when you need it. And if you have no assets, no problem. So the, the, loan, the loans are not collateralized, okay? Number three here, we have uh, Quick Bridge. Our score, 9.4 over 10. So what we love about Quick Bridge is that we love the fact that they have a, a constellation, a diversity of loans, okay? And Quick Bridge will actually approve you, your established business or your startup all the way to half a million. So $500,000, that's the uh, the maximum with, with uh, Quick Bridge. What we love about Quick Bridge is that the, the, the the process online, but also the team are very easy going. So the process is very, very simple, very straightforward, a very simple application process. And the team at QuickBridge, QuickBridge is very easy going. Okay. And uh, so you have business loan. You can receive funds within uh, two to three days. This is really good. That, so that this is purely a no collateral business loan, no personal guarantee for startups. And uh, they also actually take care of a uh, established businesses to them because you know have you have some uh, lenders who are pure play like they are ju they just focus on the startup community and they don't do anything else but quick bridge is not doing that they actually are diversifying their sources of revenue so they actually take care of uh startups but also they take care of uh of uh, established businesses and we also love the fact that there, there are there is a diversity of loans business loans that is that quick bridge actually uh maintains or at least offers we're speaking about alternative loans bridge loans daily payment financing no collateral loans receivables financing short-term loans unsecured business loans working capital okay they as uh, they also have funding for specific business use i'm talking about tax debt loans inventory financing payroll loans emergency business loans marketing loans renovation financing so you can see here that you can actually customize the the use of loan proceeds that's what we love about about quick bridge giving you that flexibility if you're a startup you never know what tomorrow will, will tomorrow will, will, will bring right like one day you're making sales, the other day it's just very complicated to get loans, whatever, like you need financing to constantly survive. So having that flexibility, having a lender who really understand, who understands the uh, the intricacies and the challenges that come with a startup is really good, okay? And they'll take care of you for a lot of things. They can actually, uh, you can do a coupon financing, you can, do a, you can do a working capital loans, whatever. You can do a lot of stuff with, uh, with a quick bridge loan. Number two here, we have uh, Clarify Capital. Our score, 9.5 over 10. So when we talk about Clarify Capital, we are speaking about a very, uh, you know, a big ass lender who is very generous. We, we love him a lot. And you, you, you're talking $10,000 to 750. Think about that. Three quarters of a million. Whew. Think about what your startup could, could actually do with such a, such a big amount, right? I mean, even if you get, if, even if you got 10 grand, it's still something, right? So Clarify will actually, uh, they actually have, uh, they have easy and fast funding within uh, one day. We actually have seen uh, PR cases where one of our own business clients got approved for a Clarify capital loan within uh, 13 hours. Think about that. You have very competitive APRs that are as low as a 7%. You have, uh, so even if you have a credit score, this is what I was just talking to you earlier about the fact that we love Clarify Capital because it's a, it's a, it's a really, really good, great, no collateral business loan, no personal guarantee. And even if you have bad credit, they, they can still take care of you. I mean, I want you to contrast the Clarify Capital requirement of 550 with the, with the Capital's Capital, which was around 600, 620. Okay. You can really see here. And uh, one thing I want to, I want to also say here is that. You have instant online approval okay you can get pre-qualified in just two minutes if you really want to go real fast and uh, if you have any question it's always great to call clarify capital okay you can call the number is 877-838-3919 877-838-3919 okay 
By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's conversation, the topic we're having, where I'm sharing with you five gems when it comes to no collateral, business loans, and no personal guarantee for startups. And when we talk about when we talk about Clarify Capital, you need to understand that uh, Clarify is not only very flexible in terms of your your uh, your loan; they'll actually uh, will uh, advise you. Like sometimes they like to actually uh, like because because they know. I mean, it, it is in their interest if you are able to 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 succeed in your venture in your business venture. Is there? It is in their interest to be able to be paid, like to receive their funds back, and maybe you could actually borrow again from them. So they they actually will assign a uh, a loan advisor or quote unquote business rep to you to kind of answer all your questions. And this is really good. Number one, the best of the best in our view here, BHG Money. Our score, nine point eight over ten. So if you're looking for a pure, no collateral business loan, no personal guarantee for your startup, BHD is the place to be. Okay. They have, not only they have a streamlined application, the, the, the cool thing here is that with, with uh, BHD, you are getting like money. It's not just uh, like, first of all, you're getting cash from 20,000 to $500,000, which is really great for a startup. They take care of uh, established businesses too, but for startups, you can get from 20 grand all the way to half a million. Okay. On top of that, they have very extended repayment terms up to 12 years. Think about it, which is really great because if you have a startup, you got to really survive in the short term first, because you know, like when you start, you start, you start working, you want to make sure that your startup's ass is out of the woods. Out of the out of the proverbial words, like in terms of the risk zone where you could actually file for bankruptcy or close shop, you know, altogether. So you really want to, if you have a lender such as BHG, who is really willing to to actually extend your payment over twelve months, this is really good. And so when we talk about BHG money, you were talking about actually uh, submitting minimal documentation and and being approved within twenty four hours. Okay, you're gonna you can be approved over the phone or online. Okay, and uh, so large loan amounts. And one thing I want to say also here is that funding you can be approved in 24 hours, but funding can be as few can be in, in as few as three days. Okay, the cool thing is if you want to pay a little extra, BHD will take care of you. We advise you to pay a little extra if you if you really want to get a, a consequential a large loan through a large business loan through BHD money. So if you are going to sign up for the the premium service they actually they will they will actually look at your application differently they have uh, this uh, service seven days a week okay and one thing i want to say also here is that you're not going to uh again when you look at how much bhd money is approved 20 grand to half a million this is really great because it means if you are approved you're not getting a small ass loan amount you're getting something consequential Okay, so here are the steps that I want to really. Uh, so we just, uh, I just explained to you that I gave you the review you were looking for. Now let me give you the steps that you need to have if you want to get a startup business loan with no personal guarantee and and like nothing, nothing else. You know the thing here is that you got to ask yourself first. You know a lot of startups are so they are so into their daily operations, they're trying to survive, trying to take care of this. You know the next supplier, trying to really. Uh, Pay the next vendor applying for an n30 account you know thinking about r d trying to think about having the marketing strategy so you have a constellation you have a mishmash of of things and it could be it could be really complicated to uh sort of a zero in on why you need the the, the loan in the first place so you, you need to evaluate what kind of business loan for your startup you need okay and in, while doing that you want to look at what we call the credit duality so basically you want to look at your credit score personally, but also business wise. So when it comes to your personal credit score, you have the usual way, you know, annualcreditreport.com. You have uh, a permanent sort of a permanent account or a permanent way to check your credit score. For instance, through Credit Karma or other players in the industry, that's on the that's on the personal side. On the business side, you might have to pay for it though, but it, you have services that are there. Uh, most notably from uh, Dun & Bradstreet, 
Equifax and Experian, and those services allow you really to uh, to to have access to your credit to your business credit score to know where you are at, whether your your paydex, for instance, is at uh, 85 or 58, which makes a big difference. Okay. So you need to evaluate the kind of loan you need and what you're going to use the cash for. And you need to check you need to check your personal credit score. Now, one thing you need to be very careful here is that even though some of those players are very flexible when it comes to uh, personal FICO, like they'll take care of you if you are at 550 or 600. But just make sure there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes in your in both your personal credit scores and your credit score and also your business credit score. Now, all the all the five players I just shared with you in today's conversation, they check all three bureaus. They don't have a, a favorite, like they don't check like TransUnion or Equifax or Experian. Depending on the state you're applying from, they will check whatever credit is available, whatever credit bureau is available to them in that state. The third thing I want you to do here, if you want to improve your chances of getting a no collateral business loan, no personal guarantee for your startup, is to right now, I want you to start preparing and gathering the required documents. Don't wait till the last minute. That will be a big mistake. You know, don't actually do what the other, others do. They wait till the last minute to, to actually uh, gather the required documents. You probably like if you spoke to uh, one of those five lenders, either over the phone or like via email, they probably t they probably told you already like what are the required documents so all you have to do to start right now start gathering the requirements right now you don't have to apply tomorrow you don't have to apply the next day you don't have to apply like one week from now but you you might need to apply at some point and when that when that time comes okay you want to be ready so one thing you also want to do here is is to actually research and compare lenders so when I talk about researching and comparing lenders, it's, it's important to really know the kind of loan, the, the kind of uh, startup loan you are after, right? Because you have uh, like you have five lenders into this conversation that I share with you: Capitals, National Funding, Quick Bridge, Clarify Capital, and BHD Money. It really depends on what they're offering. It depends on how much they're charging you based on your credit band. Let's say if you have a fa if you have fair credit or bad credit or good credit, you want to you want to analyze the APR they're charging you. You want to analyze the the kind of the kinds of conditions they're actually asking for because a lot of those players, I mean, if not all of them, they are actually will take care of you even if you have uh, if you are a startup. But in some cases, you might have more stringent application requirements. For example, they might ask you to have a business plan to show a business plan, or they might ask you to. Uh, to show like uh, financial projections. Sometimes it can be very granular. They can actually ask you very precise, like it can be tax returns for the last three years on the personal side, okay? It might it could be a bank statements. They could even ask you to connect your bank, your bank account to their system so they can actually trace whatever is happening in your account. And so but after you do it, after you've done everything, please don't forget just to hit the submit button, okay? Submit your application, get the process going because the whole thing is you need you need to have financing to actually take care of your your startup, right? So you're not in you're not in business to constantly apply for a startup business loan. You just apply it's a, it's a one-time it's a one-time deal. You just get it done and that's it. So when you apply, you can apply over the phone, you can apply online. You can apply via email depending on uh, how the setup is made sometimes they will actually they will actually redirect you to a specific page it's like a, an online page and uh it's a an online page it's a loan it's an online loan application page where you actually submit everything from uh like everything about your business about your startup on that page it really depends okay So before I do I do a recap, let me just quickly uh, acquaint you with our business loan evaluation approach. We have a, a really methodical approach here when it comes to uh, evaluating, categorizing, and listing startup business loans. So please check this out. Let me quickly recap here. So here are the top five no collateral business loan, no personal guarantee for startups. Number one, we have BHG money, our score 9.8 over 10. Number two, we have Clarify Capital 9.5 over 10. 
Number three, we have a quick bridge, 9.4 over 10. Number four, we have here, national funding, 9.1 over 10. And number five, we have a capitalist capital, our score, 9 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.